Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. Today we're continuing the Rise of the Robots campaign. It is time to get some more supplies. So another supply uh, raid is amongst us. We're getting some more Lerium and some alien alloys just to upgrade everything that we do have. In order to do that, we're fighting against pretty much the cream of the crop, Elite Spectres, Elite Shield Bearer, Purifier, Sectopods, a Heavy Mac, and Archon, so kind of endgame enemies, and it'll be interesting to see how the Sparks are doing. Plus, we're still having a couple of wounded soldiers, so we can't just um, get all of the soldiers into the mission. Quick Heat and Storm, our new uh, Templar, will be there. However, we're also going to have um, a rookie. Might as well take Hunk, why not? He uh, can stay with the team. So the Sparks themselves still cannot take any um, ammunition. And that would be probably one of the few mods that I would actually uh, yeah, suggest taking. Getting that one utility slot just for ammunition so that they could also benefit uh, from blue screen rounds. They're power in the end game yeah slightly uh, mm, slightly on a downturn and uh, at least having an ability to to deal more damage to mechanical units would probably compensate for that other than that uh, they are fantastically strong we're going to take more blue screen rounds here and i would uh, say just from uh, the weapons we're making all of the weapons available storm doesn't need anything else and for him we're going to take the prototype 15% insta kill the rookie hunk has 15% insta kill as well so that is exactly what we're looking for we got two mimic beacons two times blue screen rounds and three max plus one templar let's go boys and we are landing let's go boys let's go got the high ground here Starting with one focus is per the usual. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And since it's not a timed mission, I probably will start to heal first so that we get all of uh, the mechs topped off. Mentioned that in an earlier video, it is not absolutely needed, but yet it is good practice because the repair time uh, will be determined on. The maximum amount of damage that you have taken in a mission which means if they take damage again it will further increase the repair time which of course we don't want to happen so in short by repairing them and topping them off we give them the ability to get um, injured without it essentially meaning that they take even more repair time Good. Some healing. And we got some healing over here. Still wondering how the final team is probably going to look like. I totally like the three mechs so far. But if I could have it my way, probably the final team would be two Psyops, two Templars, two mechs. Just so that we do have a little bit more variety. The mechs are not bad at all, don't get me wrong, quite the opposite. There is an Archon and an, an Elite Spectre. Time for us to have that fire line again that I was talking about a bit earlier. And Hunk just moves up all the way to here. So we're probably not going to be uh, detected. And like I said, the timer doesn't start until we're actually breaking concealment. I would like to take this high ground here. And kind of avoid these guys if we can fight against only one patrol at a time that would be fantastic
Good, let's start with Vector over here. We're soon going to take high ground for now, I just want to make sure we're having a proper um, a proper high ground for the soldiers that need it the most. Commander. And I wanted to have Overwatch. Heading there now. Overwatch. Scanning target area we may or may not trigger those guys right now. It's pretty high likelihood that we are. Yep, there we go. Okay. <coughs> oh boy. Fucking undying loyalty again. I already mentioned that I absolutely hate uh, that dark event. Well, 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 what do we have here? So, we have a couple of shots that we can take. I would say we're just starting with overdrive and do the no regret moves. We got an overwatch from that uh, mech. One down. Zombie will die to probably to uh, Bladestorm. Let's kill uh, the mech instead. Zombie therefore does not die to Bladestorm, but I can easily take care of it. Plus, it cannot yet reach us. Let's take a look with Hogbite here. We could reach the Spectre, which is great. Continuing to soften up the Archon. And that might even be a kill. Nope. Just barely not. Move all the way to here and give it a shot. Before we do that though, uh, let us assess all of the other options. This here is a 50-50. We can take it. Nice. Good. This here it might trigger an additional pack. I said one additional pack. I did not at any point say this will trigger two additional packs. Let's say that that was unfortunate. Let's further say we're lightning hands, killing this guy. And afterwards, we're either going to go here and parry whilst being in full cover. That's an option. The other option is we're running back. I'll decide that 
once I'm done with all of uh, the movements. Good, we're blocking the ladder over here, taking high ground, overdrive because I couldn't help myself but pull four packs in one turn. Good job, Saiken, that's exactly how it's done. Show the audience how you safely and securely do one pack at a time. A proper pack management. Let's get this this elite officer down. Target eliminated. Scanning approach vector. Good, we're moving back again. That would not be a single straight up kill so he's not a threat he will probably try something fishy on us but uh, if we're moving further back it's not going to be a problem either both of them are so far away that they're not even in range He's not a threat to us, he cannot even reach us, which kind of leaves only the shield bearer and the shield bearer himself is not really an issue either. So let's start hitting and thanks to crit, oh, it's even going to kill him. We're now back with another undying loyalty because yes, of course. One zombie is not enough. Could move all the way up to here. Could move up to here, which is probably even a better choice. That's like what? Two, four, six, eight points of damage. We can easily hit that thanks to Bladestorm. So let's move into full cover. There you go, that's what you get from trying to mess with us. I was honestly thinking that he would vanish. <clears throat> My bad for not taking that into consideration. This will be a kill next turn, so the mind control will not stick. That's a problem. I did not figure that these zombies would get the full uh, shield as well which makes them not a one shot anymore and thus will probably hit us like i said it's a problem could have done that better probably should have anticipated it to be honest That was deserved. Can't really say anything um, else about it. Should have assumed uh, that that shit would happen. Now and I could have used the Mimic Beacon. Good, we wanted to kill the sectored. Moving. Moving over here. Still trying to get those extra hit points away. 
from the Elite Shield Bearer. Good. Yeah, my bad for... I mean, this could have been closer. Not a kill, but it could have been uh, closer. I basically just completely disregarded the Spectre's ability to do something. Can't kill the Spectre. Might as well do a stasis on him. That saves us a Mimic Beacon. Could try to run and get the crate. Too risky though. Instead, let's reload. We're going to get a few less crates, but that's okay. We got four packs, eight enemies in total. I think if I remember correctly, it was 11 or 13, probably more 13. Could be an entire pack of a sector pot with four additional soldiers that's left over. And we got still all of our uh, cooldowns um, and specifically consumables uh, ready except two times overdrive. Still a bit uh, miffed that I miscalculated the Spectre. I was assuming that the Spectre would vanish and then it would have been a pretty much flawless turn. But I failed to foresee what he was really up to. But we're using the time to reload. It's always good to fill up the magazine. Vector begins to move out. Down to one HP. We do not have a stock here and not here either, but we do have a pretty decent stock here. And believe it or not, the mechs need the XP. There we go. Moving, moving. Unap, although we don't need any more max uh, focus, we're at maximum. We can definitely get those packs. Doing a little scouterino. Marking the supplies. Rookie moves in. Closing on target position now. And now I would say we're Maximum range. going to move all of uh, the max up to the front reasonable positions of course reloading. reloading were needed Moving to overwatch. Orders confirmed. On the overwatching wherever possible I am watching. and Sarah, since there's likely only one pack left on should be fine
Good. Vector moves up. One more turn until overdrive is ready. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Got five Overwatches. And the next crates are somewhat in range. If we stretch ourselves. That's the trigger. Yeah, and like I said, that's probably the last pack. Vector's Hunter ability immediately triggers. Fantastic ability. Coincidentally enough, Overdrive is directly ready. The Rainmaker is making it rain. Wonderful. Time to hit that big fat sector port. Movement request confirmed. Moving up, uh, let's have uh, that overdrive here. This here can take away. Oh, that guy is not really important, to be honest. Trying to hit the sector port. And shredding it entirely. Since I know that it is the last pack, I'm wondering is there an option for a nice. Grenade. Rocket, rather. Just had that perfect... Um, I'm covering everything sort of rocket. That's good. That's not bad either. To hit the sector pod. Yeah, but it's not fully hitting it, so might as well continue shredding the sector port. Good, let's hit the sector port. I just don't want to kill it uh, yet whilst we're in melee. Nice little six points of damage, so it's fantastic. Let's shut down for two rounds. And. We can also get that crate. Wonderful. Are you kidding me? Good. It's time for the mechs once again to save the day. Since the sector port is shut down, it's not a priority target anymore, believe it or not. The heavy mech is. Okay, 
Okay, we don't want any further hiccups, which is why we're putting the Mimic Beacon out. Lost another crate, we're going to kill everyone next round and then the mission should be over, so still over all the crates went reasonable well. Very good. Reloading. And let's kill those two. There we go. Moving a little bit closer. And that day, uh, that guy just has a really, really bad day. Proceeding to target. Minimal ammunition remaining. Heading to that location. Done. Yeah, with the exception of the one questionable move at the beginning where I just misread the AI, the rest of the mission was fine. It, it was uh, the uh, mm, the rise of the robots again, uh, the sparks that carried this run. All right, here we go. We got one promotion. And that is the same decision as uh, before. Whenever an enemy is revealed, there's a certain chance for an overwatch shot. I really like 100 protocol. Every time you're targeted, part of the energy is channeled to your Alarium cannon. This energy is unleashed with an next standard shot. You know, since we are... Um, since we are the tank with this... Um, gla uh, with uh, Glaive here, that might not be too bad. might not be too bad but I also like hunter protocol it's just made for really 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 nice overwatch uh, shots let's do channeling field and keep this one here a tank and dagger will take over uh, will take hunter protocol again many alien alloys many alarium crystals uh, superior speed which is fantastic two alarium cores and the sector port autopsy on the downside we are seeing that uh, we have uh, the templar down for 15 days so yeah it becomes absolutely clear that we need the infirmary this here is 80 intel i am going to take that reduction of Contact costs are important. And this is even more intel. So, given that we have not enough power, yet again, we gotta put an engineer on power, and yet again, we gotta put an engineer on the per, uh, building here. So, so only one engineer left for removing all of the other debris. Yeah, unfortunately the whole power situation, I really don't like that. So let's upgrade to an Alarium Conduit down here. That immediately frees up two engineers. And we had the necessary extra um, Elarium available so that really shouldn't keep us back or hold us back anymore
Same deal up here. We theoretically can move one of these guys out and start building faster and get a few things done. I would like to uh, start with building one war suit. And we're continuing with experimental heavy weapons. That's fine. We're doing we're doing good uh, now. That one extra war suit might be helpful. Could even give that to a rookie. Uh, that extra explosive might not be too bad. Of course, it has, on the other hand, less room for mimic beacons and ammunition. Now, personal combat sims can be reutilized, which is great. And we're going to go Auto for the thing. sector port breakdown. The autopsy will lead to the highest level of gremlins. And uh, that would mean we finally have some somewhat decent hacking ability. Continuing the reduction of contact costs. And that is fantastic. Plasma blaster is great. Just got to remember to take it with us in our next mission. Speaking about which, uh, we got 22 enemies here. Oh, a lot of them are lost. <laughs> okay, but uh, that's a hidden event in something. Sharpshooter really doesn't mean anything for us. Probably going to huh, protect the device. Mm. Yeah. Not sure if I like that. If it wouldn't be for protect the device, I would probably do it. Can I be ours to do a protect the device mission? Yeah, we're going to find out, guys. We're going to find out that is happening in the next mission. Let's finish this scan here just real quick. Okay, thank you. On our way with the infirmary, got the sector port uh, in a good position. We're getting a new hero in just a few moments. There's still a chance for an ambush, in all fairness, but yeah, that would be nice to have that extra person. And yeah, unfortunately, psy operatives are still wounded storm still wounded so it's probably going to be quick feet plus two rookies and of course our mechs that are sparks that have never really been wounded and that'll be the next mission i don't know if i want to do the protect the device i'll figure it out in the meantime guys and um, that brings us to the end of this episode if you enjoyed the content is always uh, hit the like and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. That really helps the channel. I appreciate uh, that you're so diligent in doing that. And see you in the next run, guys. Bye-bye.